Hi, in this video, we're going to show the very, very useful features that we have in the newer version of the Cisco we manage. It is called Network Path Insight. First, we're going to talk about the diagram here. First, we have the hub router, which is on the left side, and the branch router on the right side. And those two sides are connected via the private one and private two colors. And I have a PC over here, and uh, the PC is trying to reach to the hub router to access the hub router via the SSH protocol. So it's generating the graphic, and we want to make sure that uh, it goes to the correct path. So let's go to the vManage first by applying the policy, forcing it uh, use the private one only. So the traffic of the SSH will go through the private one and hit the uh, Cisco SD-WAN router at the hub. The normal tools that we usually do just to uh, verify whether it is correct, it takes the correct path or not, it is the simulate flow. So we go to the simulate flow and go to the VPN one. And the destination here is the hub router on the LAN site, which is 10.10.10.1 in this case. Then we click on the simulate flow. If it tells you the private one to private one, it's the branch using this color to go to the hub. But this is not a real traffic. It is just the simulate traffic. How can we make sure that the real traffic, when it hits the router, it actually taking the private one path to go to the hub router. So we have a, a network path insight tools over here. So you can actually run it. Uh, maybe I just create a new trace, test two. Test two. Site is the branch, which is 102, right? uh, VPN 1. And the source and the destination, we, we can put it in just to filter the traffic. But in this uh, video, we're not going to filter anything. Then we can just click on Start. So now uh, the router is starting to capture the packet trace. So at this time, we can actually generate something, some traffic from the branch uh, to the hub router. I have a branch PC here. I want to generate the traffic. Maybe I can just put ping just to make sure that it has a reach, reachability. Yes, it does have a reachability. Now I go to uh, secure shell SSH to that particular router at the hub. All right, now I'm at the hub router. I'm going to generate some command uh, just to uh, make sure that there are some, some traffic being sent to the hub router by typing several commands here. Show IP interface brief, show IP route, uh, show IP route, VRF1, something like this. Uh, that's it, and then I'm just exit. So I just want to go back to the packet trace that we started just now and see what happened over here. So there's something running, the test the test two trace running, and we can see that uh, these are the uh, the packet that we see. Um, we can see the active flow, we can see the complete flow. But right now, uh, maybe we can just stop it first and wait for a while. Then we can take a look at the details that we get from the network path insight. While we are waiting, uh, I can just go to the test one that I already did. 
when it is completely stopped, then I'm gonna show the view inside over here. So here it is the insight from the trace. As you can see here that we have a CQ shell running from, this is a branch IP, branch PCIP, and this is the hub router IP address. The IP address, the, the destination port is 22, which is the SSH application. If you wanna drill down to uh, the details here, it shows that uh, the traffic is going up from the branch router to the hub router using the private one. That is actually the uh, matches what we have configured over there and the remote color is a private one. And downstream site from the hub, the local edge is actually from the hub because it's, it is the hub router. Re remote color is the branch, then it use also the private one color. And it, it shows the number of bytes, number of packets, and also it shows uh, the queue ID, the, the queue number that we that we configured there. Um, if you take a look on the advanced tab in the inside, you can actually see the upstream and the downstream, right? So for the upstream, um, it actually, this is the land side. So it actually see that um, the classification here from NBAR is secure shell, right? And it details, it details uh, which part it takes. So we have a policy over here, which is uh, the part selection policy. And the action of that policy is we choose the local color, uh, which is the private one. So actually uh, we can see uh, from here, the application that is classified by the NBAR and whether it hits the policy that we configure or not. Right, so this is, uh, this is gonna be a very detailed and um, it also tells you the IPsec encryption. If you wanna take a look at the QoS, then you can you can go down, use the Q2. Um, QoS definition, we have a QID, we have a policy name. Uh, we own the personal QoS policy already. Um, yep, so, so this kind of thing, a lot of things that we can, we can uh, take from the advanced uh, insight. It is the same thing as uh, the downstream. If you want to take a look at the downstream, uh, you can look at that. Also, the geography here. If you have, uh, if you plot the, if you put in the GPS location of two branches, uh, two two locations like the hub and the branch, you can actually see the the flow over here. Let me uh, the upstream bandwidth. Sorry, upstream uh, color and the downstream color, it tells you the drop rate, jitter and latencies. So you can have a very, very detailed view uh, on what's going on inside the network. So this is a summary of the network path uh, insight. And yeah, uh, this is a very useful tool when we want to do a troubleshooting or we want to do the flow validation, right? So that is very good tools. That is it for this demo. And I hope this tool, this video is very useful for you. Then see you next time. Thank you for watching.